guys a long time now see but there is a good reason uh, things are very hectic here in Croatia we're trying to find a different apartment and of course open our soap and uh, talking about the soap I never talked about this in uh, any former video of mine but basically we're trying to open a cool little interesting soap here in Osijek with products from around the world products that we deem interesting and you cannot find them uh, anywhere in Croatia and good chances are you cannot find them even in your country talking about from Latvian honey to artisan chocolates from Belgium and France to uh, bamboo watches to um, perfumes and this is a perfume channel and today a package arrived from France from one of the first perfume uh, houses I conducted to bring here in Osijek it's a house from France and they have an amazing story behind them um, the owner is an expat like myself so moved from a young age to France he started her own business is making niche quality perfumes and I love a good story and more importantly I love a good product with a good story behind it and that's what we're trying to bring here in Osijek now chances are you never heard about this house and for those of you who have heard about this house you still want to stick around because I have most of the products and we're gonna take a good close look just to be clear this is not a paid video or anything I paid for those products I'm bringing them to Osijek so there's no point of uh, keep hammering how much I like them of course I like them I paid for them this is not the point the point is to unbox a niche house to learn more about them and have fun because this is gonna be fun so stick around hang around and let's check some perfumes and here are the perfumes so let's take a look at the packaging first now this is what caught my eye immediately from the house I really really enjoy the packaging I love the clean look I love the white color I love all these color splashes around the box super good and Citroen and Petting Green that's that's also something that caught my eye that's I think that's what uh, the first perfume that caught my girlfriend's eye Citroen and Petting Green because we love a good Citroen scent and honestly you cannot find a good Citroen scent easily so what else do we have we have there we go orange and lychee that's also very interesting how many times have you heard the word lychee I love this blue color in the box cardamom and embrance another very interesting combination of course that sounds this notes Paris hope I didn't butcher it of course we have also the premium line Oud d'Ancor this is the male uh, it's a male perfume if I'm not mistaken but we're gonna learn more about it and a female one Rose de Cala I hope I'm not butchering those words guys I'm really sorry but I'm doing my best really nice packages I really enjoy the look of them because let's be honest if any one of you has a collection they have their perfumes you know you want a nice presentation so let's move on let's get right into it all right we're back now you're gonna have to excuse me from reading from my phone because the package just arrived today literally took it from the post run here full of excitement and I wanted to share this excitement with you so we're doing this together okay now let's learn a little bit more about this house super fast and we're gonna go right into the perfume to create lessons this notes Huang Manjin collaborates with the implementing company main based in Grace cradle of French perfumery her guideline noble raw materials bold choices for a great freedom of creation Huang Manjin and the perfume masters have created original scents of citrus flowers wood and spices in a resolutely contemporary spirit a universe that translates sobriety purity of sense and authenticity it is in the image of its creator now let's move on to the scents the first one is gonna be vetiver and patchouli this is the bottle and it's a simple bottle here's the 
sticker and everything. I'm gonna post the picture with the cup because this is the uh, tester. I'm gonna tell this. I do not care or like obnoxious and loud bottles. I have my collection and I want it neat and classy. You will not see in my collection 1 million and all those tacky bottles. Uh, I don't care for their tacky presentation or their loud smell. That's not me. This is not what I love. This is not what I like. Perfume, in my opinion, it's a it's an interesting um, it's an interesting product. It's a, it's an accessory, and I like it classy and clean. And this is all I want from a bottle. Simple as it may be, it's all I care for, and I like it. But it really doesn't matter if the smell is not good. Now I love Betty Ver, so as great uh, sprayer, by the way. So as I smell it, I'm gonna read a little uh, bio of the perfume and what's inside. A magical alliance of natural, woody, and enveloping scents from Java Vediver, associated with a suave note of patchouli, a powerful and manly signature that leaves a thrilling and enveloping wake. Now, what's inside? Top note, bergamot, pink, peppercorn, grapefruit, middle note, black pepper, rhubarb, frankincense, base note, cedar, patchouli, vetiver. And immediately, I'm gonna tell you this. When I sprayed it, and I had a little smile while I tried to hide my thoughts, uh, reading the uh, synopsis of the perfume, uh, I got strong vibes from Air Dermes, and I do not like to compare perfumes. I like things to have their own identity, and this, of course, has its own identity. It's not Air Dermes, but I love Air Dermes. It's my favorite scent, and it has some similarities. It has an amazing vetiver. Very realistic, little bit dirty, and I love that. I'm gonna tell you why. The grapefruit with the pink peppercorn blend really great together. It's so juicy. It doesn't have the dirtiness uh, of um, Hermes, but there is something dirty in it that makes it a little bit sexy, and that's what I like about classy perfumes when they hide a little bit of sex appeal, you know, in them. Going away from the notes, and because we need to rush to the other perfumes, I'm just gonna say this. The vetiver is amazing. I don't even have to say more. The vetiver is amazing. For the lovers of vetiver, this is great. It's so realistic. It's so uh, grassy and earthy. It's like you woke up in a forest and around you, you have the orange trees. There is a lot of sexiness in it, and I keep smelling it and smelling it. And it's not a mess, but uh, because I'm trying to make you understand via video what this is all about, I'm gonna maybe tell you something similar that you might have smelled so you know you, your brain can comprehend. If you love Erdermes, this is amazing. It's not the same, it's amazing. There's key differences inside and I'm gonna go on it on maybe different videos if you want to, but I'm closing, I'm just gonna say this. Very earthy, very grassy, very realistic juiciness from the orange, from the from the pink peppercorn, from the bergamot, from the grapefruit, makes it a very classy, elegant scent that you can wear in a business type or date night, of course, if you wear classy clothes and you will have a lot of sexiness in it. And I want to go more and more about it, but I can't, we have to move on, love it. Great start. Next one, we have cardamom and embrance. Tonic Marine Accord, incensed with naturally spice notes of cardamom. The promise of an imaginary journey full of freshness. So, a lot of freshness. We have Bergamot, Cardamom, Green Accord, Middle Note, Incense, Rosemary, Marine Accord, and Base Note, Vetiver, Mask, Amber. Let's spray this bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Talk about fresh and I go back to the bio I'm sorry but okay here's why I smile and I laugh I do not like 90% of the aquatic freshy um, summer scents I just don't 
I always go outside the box when it comes to summer, like I'll go to my Rasasi, I'll go to, you know, something Middle Eastern, something that you do not find in the Western market because simply they just are boring. This is not boring. This is so freshly soapy. Bergamot, cardamom, again, I love bergamot, so of course I'm gonna like it. Incense, rosemary, marina cord. I smile because this is gonna be my summer scent and I cannot wait for summer because this is good. And again, sexy. I did not expect so much sexiness from this house because I know they're classy. I know they are um, this classy niche, uh, nice scent, but boy, this, this packs a lot of punch in it. And uh, I know, I know a lot of people will love this. When the first one, the Very Very Machole, it's very classy, it's very intimate, it's something you're gonna put, you know, going on a date one-on-one, -on -one. but this one, if I want to go outside, when I walk, it's summer, it's bright, it's colorful, it's sunny, this is amazing. I'm gonna totally come back to this and say more, but for now, love it. The green accord, the marine accord, uh, the mask, and the bergamot just won me over, but moving Moving along, we have more stuff to do. Moving along to orange and lychee. And this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting, lychee. So, what do we have? A timeless and subtle fragrance where the smoothness of the orange blends with the tonic freshness of the lightly powdery lychee. The original fragrance with natural essence transports you in a sunny orange grove from 1001 nights. Well, okay, so this needs to be sexy. Well, you know, this needs to be this needs to be what I have in my mind when I read this description, but I have high hopes because the first two were amazing. So let's see. What do we have on the uh, notes? We have lemon, bergamot, orange, middle note, cardamom, marjoram, artemisia, base note, lychee, cubeba, vetiver, basil. A lot of stuff that it's just gonna be interesting. I'm super interested in what's inside. Let's do this. Let's grab my tester. Whoa. I love the opening from all of them. Zero alcohol blast. Zero, <laughs> you know, like when sometimes when you get a perfume and even though it's like niche quality, the opening is, you know, it needs to settle down. This immediately starts amazing. Now, I cannot tell you about the dry downs because, you know, this is an unboxing, but opening is 10 out of 10 on everyone. Now, what do I get from this one? I get a lot of lemon and I love lemon. One of my favorite perfumes, it's Hanai Mori HM. I love the lemon in it. I love it. And on the background, it has a little bit of chocolate. It's great. But talking about this one, it has also the lemon I love in Hanai Mori. Uh, it's very, you know, in front of the other notes. I love a good lemon scent. Of course, you have the bergamot and the orange next to it, smoothing it out. And there is a lot of smoothness in that lemon note. Now, this one, it's classic. I'm gonna put it in the same line as Vedi Verum Pachole. I find it very classy very intimate. If you love the lemon, this is something you need to check. It's a really, really awesome lemon and I love how it smooths out with the orange in it. Now, Artemisia cardamom, I can get it. And I'm gonna stick by it. Very classy, doesn't have the sexiness of the other two, but if you want something that's serious, but also elegant. This is a very good choice. And chances are you haven't smelled this before. Orange and lychee. It's a very interesting, like, that's why I do not have a lot to say about this one because my brain tries to process it because it's very new to me, this com nice combination. It works very good together, but it's still a new thing. And I try to figure it and put it into words. 
So for now, all I can tell you is elegant, classy, interesting. Those three words are great. When they put together, it means something unique, something you cannot find easily, but moving on. Last one from there, from that line is Citroen and Pettigrain. And this is the bottle. A refined accord of natural citruses and senses, where the vivacity of the Sicilian lime is softened by the green and tender notes of the Pettigrain. The blooming heart of the May Rose brings an aerial breath of sweetness to the composition. Interesting. And notes we have. Top note, lemon, mandarin, thin. Uh, middle note, May Rose, clary sage, lavender. Base note, pedigrain, musk, fear, balsam. A lot of interesting stuff. Again, I love, I love what she did with those perfumes. A lot of interesting stuff. How many times have I got an interesting perfume only to find out that it's just similar to a lot of other stuff? Nothing here is similar to anything else. And the only reason I compared it to some popular stuff is that your brain can navigate towards something you're familiar and pick some stuff that could be close. And that's it. They are very unique in what they bring to the table. And I think that's the best part. And that's how you know you have a good perfumer. That's how you know you did a good job when you create something that you cannot find easily in the market. Okay, this one immediately, and I had to jump because <laughs> my brain just goes bam. This one has the most punch out of all the other ones I checked. It just go bam in your face and yeah, I can still see the lemon. Um, it's close opening to the previous one, to uh, Orange and Lychee, with the difference that this is more rounded. We have Mandarin and Thyme, and that's Thyme, I'm sorry, and it makes it more rounded. Very fresh. Very fresh and bright. That's the word, bright. It's bright. It, it gives me a lot of color in my brain, a lot of bright colors. I love it. Uh, May, Rose, Clary, Sage, Lavender. I get a bit of lavender in it. It's very rounded. It's very smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what. I can totally imagine this two, the Citroen and Pettigrain and the Orange and Lychee, going on a date. Uh, the guy has uh, uh, Citroen Pettigrain, the woman has Orange and Lychee, or the other way around and they go on a date and they smell very similar but very different at the same time and everyone is going to ask them what are you wearing because this is not easily found in the market i haven't had a smell similar to this so it's not easy to put my thoughts into words about it but i'm going to tell you this very fresh very bright it has a lot of softness where the uh, orange and lychee had a bit more sharp into it. It had a little bit more edge into it, but this is more rounded. This is more soft around the edges, if it makes sense. And I know this could be worn easily at um, cold and warmer weather because it's very rounded. And it's gonna make a lot of people happy around you. Really interesting, really lovely. Moving on. We're gonna take a look at Oud d'Ancor. And this one is different, as you can see from the bottle. This is a little bit more premium, a bit more expensive. And uh, I'm gonna tell you this, the previous line that I talked about, uh, it's very affordable. For the scents you get, it's very affordable. So I'm gonna leave it at that. This one is a little bit more, it's more expensive. So I have higher hopes also about it. But I'm very happy so far. I, I don't know how this can blow me away more from what I got, but let's check it out. Uh, 
So we have myrrh and Egyptian geranium essences, combined harmoniously with the oriental uh, accents of the oud wood with a hint of saffron and vetiver from Java. A resolutely masculine and adventurous fragrance, so this is going to be masculine. We have top note Egyptian geranium, pimento blue uh, chamomile, middle note atlas, cedarwood, saffron myrrh, uh, base note cypriol, libdanum, patchouli, vetiver, oud. Okay, I can see why this is premium. It has this Middle Eastern uh, notes in it that I loved because I love Rosas, I love those brands. So I'm very excited about it. Let's check it out. Nice sprayer again. I didn't even have to put it close to my nose. <sighs> so good, okay. Guys, I'm sorry, there's no script, just literally open the box and I'm just trying to do my best to uh, tell you all about it. Strong, masculine, smooth. Strong, masculine, smooth. It gives me a lot of good vibes. I love the Middle Eastern perfumes. I love my Rassasi. I love those type of stuff. But this is so smooth. I get a little bit of like outside of the notes and i like to do that outside of the notes what do you get your brain process the scent this is like a very smooth drink not a cocktail drink like a spirit smooth i get apple in it I, is there an apple in it i don't see anything like that but i get a l and as it dry down sexy yeah, this is very sexy to my nose. I'm, I would definitely wear this with a nice pair of clothes, a night out, on a date. So smooth. I cannot stop saying the word smooth because there is no edge into it. It's just smooth all around. There is no note that pops too much from the others and it makes you go, mm. this blends amazing together. I don't know how they did it, but it, you know, I can see why this is a premium quality. I can see why this is, why this is very interesting. So if you didn't like the notes and the notes are interesting, I mean, Egyptian geranium, pimento, blue chamomile, uh, Atlas cedarwood, saffron meal. I mean, the notes are something that you do not find in Western perfumes, period. And then you buy the Middle Eastern perfume, you know, from uh, those companies and they're like too edge, too uh, out there, maybe too much for your nose and for the nose of people around you. Not this one. It's so smooth, so refined. It has a lot of classy and sexy qualities and I love that duality in perfumes. And for the people who watch my videos, you know that I love that duality. That's why I love Hermes. That's why... I love this type of perfumes. I can see a guy rocking this and I, I haven't smelled this. I haven't smelled this composition anywhere else and it's hard for me to do what I did before and just say, oh, this might remind you some aspect of this popular perfume. This, I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you something close to this. So do I like it? I kind of love it. I kind of... This could be my scent. <laughs> and this could be your scent. It's very refined. It's very smooth. And I keep saying those words because this is what my brain tells me immediately when I smell it. Do I pick something out of this? I, the blue chamomile, it's definitely there. The Egyptian geranium... It's there, but again, I cannot pick them uh, too much from each other. They're very smooth and well blended together and makes this very sexy composition that I'm just gonna rock. And that's it, like, that's it. That's it, all I'm gonna tell you is that take those notes, you never found them before in uh, perfumes. And if you did, I guarantee it, it doesn't smell like this. So refined, so smooth, so classy and yet sexiness in it as it dries down. It's really good. I think this one is 
my favorite, but I can update you on that. But let's move on, we have one more. So the last one is Rose de Kela, and it's again from their premium line. Here it is. And it says a perfect accord of the Damasena, Damasena Rose and the Jasmine from Grass, Grace, associated with the warm notes of the patchouli from Madagascar. A note to beauty and to la vie and rose. Now, we have family, it's floral, top note, uh, galbanum, lemon, basil, middle note, rose, damascana, jasmine, plum, base note, patchouli, vetiver, oak moss. And this is uh, something for our female audience. So let's check it out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, here's why I smile. Remember how I said the other two perfumes could go on a date? Well, those two are going on a date, they're going for a dinner, and uh, who knows what they're gonna do next, because very similar to the masculine counterpart. Refined and smooth. Refined and smooth. And I'm gonna tell you this, as a guy, every time my girlfriend gives me a perfume, uh, a female perfume to try, I was not, I'm not impressed, and she's not either. We have this trouble of finding uh, good perfumes for her and her friends because we don't like the majority of female perfumes. They are either too kitty, bubblegum, floral, or what they try to be this um, too elegant, but it kind of smells like a skunk in a booth. And then you have some hidden gems in between, but it's hard to find an in-between female perfume, it's always A or B. This one, I'm gonna spray a little bit more because I kind of like it a lot. This one, again, I'm gonna compare it to a very fine and smooth drink that somehow ended up on your neck and your guy wants to come closer to smell it the whole night, ladies. Because that's what I would do. I would keep coming close to the neck of my girlfriend and say, and smell it. Because it's nice, it's smooth, it's, it's, it's sexy. And again, I smile because I love the duality of sexy and classy when it's combined perfectly. It's just perfect. And those two, the male and the female of the premium line of l'essence of l'essence des notes, is just magic. So what do I get from them? Let's check the notes, let's try to pick what they have. Uh, definitely I get lemon and basil in it, and rose, jasmine, plum, yeah, I get a little bit of flora in it, and I imagine as it tries the floral notes pop more. I know my girlfriend is gonna love this, I know your girlfriend is gonna love this, and if you are a female viewer, yeah, this is good. This is this is good. This could be your signature scent. This is, could be your niche uh, perfume. This could be the scent that you wear when you want to go outside looking classy and you want your boyfriend to keep coming closer to your neck. Very smooth. Those are the words that are going to characterize those perfumes. Smooth and refined. And that's it, guys. I hope uh, you liked it. I know this video might drag uh, dragged a lot, but I did my best to skip a lot of stuff. That's why uh, I couldn't say more stuff that I wanted. But if you're interested to know more, leave a comment, subscribe, all that, and tell me to review them, maybe individually, because they are very unique. They're very interesting, and they deserve... Uh, a spotlight on their own. So until then, and I don't want this to drag uh, anymore, have fun, take care, and I'll catch you later. Hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. See you down the line.